Hello students. Today we are going to discuss on the topic skeleton tissue. Before starting this topic, there is a message for each and every student. You have to prepare your daily notes as provided by PDF as well as in video lectures because it can be examined after the this after the passage of this kind of situations so students you have to maintain your notebook regularly now today we are going to study on the topic skeleton tissue students as the name confirm that skeleton tissue it is the kind of tissue that forms the framework of our whole body yes students it forms the framework of our whole body as well as it is responsible for the movement and the kinds of locomotion in us now students the skeleton tissue are mainly of two types what are these the first one is cartilaginous or cartilage cartilage and the other is bone now today we are going to discuss on the cartilaginous tissue or cartilaginous tissue or cartilage students what are cartilage the at first defined cartilage one thing more important the skeletal tissues are mainly contains three types of structures what are these the first one is matrix students matrix it means the amorphous substances that helps in helps in filling the spaces that present in between the cell another is the kind of cells and the last one part of the skeleton tissue is the presence of different kinds of fibers such as collagen fiber white fibers white ela yellow elastin fibers like the fibers are found in the skeleton tissue now students on this basis we are going to define the cartilage cartilages are the kind of tissues whose matrix is very hard but are elastic in nature yes students but are elastic in nature hence they appears or provides the soft structure if you if you want to take example of cartilage then ear pinna is the best example to define a cartilage yes students the ear pinna the external part of the ear that is a best example of cartilage how you experience and feel when you when you took your ear pinna it is just like the soft but rigid yes students it is soft but rigid and can be easily easily can be changes their shape but it further bears its normal shape like while the cartilages are such kind of can such kind of skeleton tissue students the uppermost part of the cartilages is called peristome it is somewhat containing the cells that are called chondrocyte cells what are these called chondrocyte cells around the chondrocyte cells there is presence of a space and you can say that a 
hollow space that surrounds the that surrounds the chondrocyte cells such kind of surrounding is known to be lacking and inside the inside the matrix there is presence of inorganic substances that are helps in provide a hard but elastic structure beside these various kind of various kind of collagenous and elastic fibers are also present these are the structure of the chondrocyte cells chondrocyte cells may present individually or in a group such a group of mature chondrocyte cells are known as chondroblasts chondroblasts are responsible for the formation or generation of new type of chondrocyte cells this is the peristomium Defined here 
and allied cartilages. The second one is the calcified cartilage. Calcified cartilage. The super scapula of the frog is the best example of calcified cartilage because such cartilage contain more amount of calcium phosphate or calcium sulfate but their matrix is too small or too less that's why they mainly forms the hard and rigid, rigid structure but their surfaces are smooth to provides the movements very easily next one is students the white white or you can say that dense white fibrous cartilage dense white fibrous cartilage such a cartilage contains more amount of collagen fibers and abundant amount of matrix that's why such kind of cartilages are said to be white fibrous cartilage because they appear white in color due to presence of more amount of the collagen fibers and collagen fibers contain more amount of calcium ions thus students such type of dense white fibrous cartilages are found in between the bone joints and they are helpful in connecting the bones to muscles and they are found in the regions where the muscles undergoes on the bones to to give a grip or attachment the next one type of the next one and last type of cartilage yellow elastic cartilage yellow elastin cartilage students this kind of cartilage containing very small amount of collagen fiber but more amount of elastin fibers and they are found on the on the parts of the bone joints such as on our rib cage some parts of larynx pharynx as well as trachea and they are somewhat appears yellow in color that's why they are commonly called yellow elastin cartilage these cartilages have adequate amount of elasticity and thus they are known as yellow elastin cartilage thus students today we are know about the different types of cartilages position in the body and why they are called they are classified as aligned calcified dense or yellow elastin cartilage more about the next topic on bones in next video lecture the students one thing more important i will define the more diagram and each and every part of the kinds of cartilages in pdf notes you will observe it very carefully if any kind of question arises in 